do My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You set my world on fire morning my beautiful friends oh my gosh this is my first day in the life of 2023 how have you all been we're gonna get caught up I'm gonna share with you what's been going on with me uh, so uh, yeah we're gonna do that I'm gonna share some things with all of you but um, I'll tell you what I've been basically started off 2023 feeling a little bit off balance um, you know how you feel like you're going a million miles an hour. It's the beginning of the year and you know, a lot of people make resolutions um, or you know, just sort of write down things that they wanna do or accomplish or as a fresh start. And sometimes I just feel like that can be extremely overwhelming and that's exactly where I have been. Uh, it's been crazy. I feel like I've been going a million miles an hour in all these different directions and really off balance, but uh, I've been turning things around. I'm feeling at peace, which is wonderful. I can't even begin to tell you. So I'm gonna be sharing with you what I've been doing to reel it back in, uh, be at peace, and really feel focused and back in balance again. As you can see this morning, we got some beautiful fluffy snow, but the great thing is the roads are completely cleared. My mom has a doctor appointment this morning, a checkup. So I'm gonna go pick her up and take her to that and I may run to the store and just think of something I wanna make really delicious for dinner tonight. Uh, I was so busy yesterday, I did not meal prep for the week. We're gonna go ahead and do that today as well. And um, so I just have so much I wanna share with all of you today and I'm really excited about it. So I hope you've got your notebooks and um, I hope I can be a sort of inspiration for you on today's day in the life. I am back from taking my mom to her doctor appointment and I ran into the store and I picked up a few things for her and a few things for myself. So I thought I would share with you what I am going to have for lunch today and then uh, what is on my agenda today. I used to eat these all the time, these little sandwich thins. So I have these with a little turkey and cheese and I love pickles. So some sliced pickles and some lettuce. So this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. And then I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm really excited about it. everything laid out here I want to finally do what I've been wanting to do for the past few days so I want to back up a little bit um, about probably I'm trying to think a week and a half ago almost two weeks ago my dear sweet friend Heather Baxter you guys know I've talked about her so many times I do her Bible studies while well, she started this um, new me in 2023 and oh my goodness this has been such an eye-opener and I, I can't tell you how much I'm getting out of this. 
and um, it's not too late if you guys wanted to jump on. Uh, my best friends from high school jumped on this with me and we're really, it's been a great way, well we've always been connected, but just to chat every single day and share our dreams, our goals, our devotions, um, we share different psalms and uh, prayers with each other. It really has been, it's been the perfect way to start the year. On the flip side of all that, when you are trying to start something and build a new routine, sometimes it becomes a little bit overwhelming. So what I'm gonna share with you is some of the things that I've been learning and I guess what Heather actually taught us, those things that are non-negotiable. And I know right now, if you guys are feeling that way, you know, put a little wave like, yes, me, in the comment section. And I really hope by the end of this video, maybe you'll give a thumbs up in the comment section where I was able to help you. And I really want this to be an ongoing, um, really ongoing throughout my day in the life videos just to really help all of you as well um, for the new year and throughout the year. But today, uh, my goal is to do a vision board. You know, Lauren and I did vision boards years ago, the two of us, uh, of course, on our channel here. Uh, I believe in vision boards and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, my vision board this year is gonna be broken down into eight categories and that's something I've been learning and praying on um, with my new me in 2023. Um, so, but I just felt like, you know, like I said, in the new year, when you're always trying to add something new to your calendar, uh, or new to your daily routine. It just, you think, gosh, where am I gonna fit all this in with everything else I've got going on? You know, of course, obviously, you're watching. We've got our YouTube channel, and Lauren and I are always trying to plan videos uh, for all of you and plan out ahead. Uh, I watch my grandson one day a week, plus, in the midst of all that, we're visiting all of our other grandbabies in Pittsburgh and in Cleveland. And uh, so we are on the go a lot. And, uh, and I am not complaining because I love every minute of it. But you think, okay, I've got this routine, I've got our YouTube channel, now I'm gonna start implementing this new kind of balancing my life and adding some spiritual time and really truly sticking to it because I try to do it throughout the year and then as anything else, how we all start, we start strong and then it fizzles out. Well, I didn't start strong because I was all over the place. So I've been really trying to find balance in my life and be a lot more organized. Last year I had like, I don't know, four or five different kind of planners and I was like trying to, you know, go between all of them. And, and though it really did help, it was almost too much for me. So I'm gonna show you my planner this year, but also what I've been doing, and I guys, I, I just really love, I, I feel so good. I feel so good. That's why I could not wait to do this day in the life with all of you, because I think maybe we all needed to reset a little bit, right? Okay, so let me share with you. Of course, I already got notes on here, so I don't wanna share my private notes, because they're between me, me and God, and um, okay, here's one that's, hasn't been used yet, so let me pull this out. I've got these, I'm all about, like I love colors, I love beauty, you know, pretty things. So I got these up last year and I love them. So this one is where I keep my notes. So when I'm doing my daily New Me in 2023, my book with Heather, I've got notes of, uh, cause she does uh, live calls uh, on Facebook or some Zoom calls. So I will take all my notes from each day because I like to write things and then I'll rewrite them again. And so I use it right here. And I also have just different um, verses and just things that help keep me, um, just keep me feeling good kind of a thing. So I'm gonna be planning or sharing more of that throughout the day today. Um, but what I am gonna do is get myself ready for my vision board and I will show you, just I'll put the camera on, like some of the things that I am, the different eight um, kind of sections that I'm going to be putting all my visions and dreams um, on my board. I've been working on my vision board all afternoon and it has been so peaceful and relaxing and I'm just having a great time doing it. I'll briefly just scan over what I've gotten done. I've got a complete mess on my table back there, but Mark was eating um, leftovers from the other night. So 
I am gonna go ahead though and make something with a spaghetti squash for dinner, so I thought I would share that recipe with you and then go over a few more things and just some of those non-negotiables that I was talking about. And like I said, I'll briefly scan my vision board and my mess over here, but let's go ahead and get dinner made. got the spicy parmesan stuffed spaghetti squash in the oven uh, I think it's gonna be really delicious and then I'm gonna jump on a call with Heather Baxter she's doing a live Facebook call which is great because I can sit and enjoy my dinner and chit chat with the women it's not a zoom so I could be cleaning and doing those kind of things so I want to do that here and enjoy my dinner and then I'm gonna go ahead and then share with you a little bit more about my vision board. Maybe if it's something that you all wanna do, it's never too late, friends, it's never too late. I'm gonna talk about little things I'm gonna be changing to bring balance into my life. Uh, I'm gonna share with all of you too. Uh, I've got actually a few this year of my words of the year. And the reason why I've got four, because I feel like I need to work on all of these. And they sort of you know, coincide with one another. Uh, so again, I apologize for all my mess here, but I've been having a great time. Again, making dinner. I'm gonna go jump on Heather's call in two minutes. Good morning, friends. It's the next morning. I got so involved in my vision board, and uh, so I never jumped back on yesterday. And Mark was so cute. He's like, because he knows one of the biggest things that I've been trying to do for 2023 
is really get to bed at the same time and get up at the same time. I really need to have more, and normally I always have, but sometimes it's been, well, especially during the holidays, I feel like my sleep schedule was so off. And I actually wanna share with you an app that I started using uh, when I wear my Apple Watch at night, and it's been so helpful for me actually to study my sleeping habits. So he knows I like to get into bed at a certain time. And so he's like, lovey, it's getting late. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I looked down and my Apple Watch was telling me it's time to get ready for bed. So I do like to be in bed no later than 10 o'clock, fall asleep by 10.30 and get up at 6.45. That has just been my schedule. It works out so beautifully. I find that I'm not tired. Now, I've had to start taking some things to help me sleep at night. Um, I've been waking up, this was a few weeks ago, and it was happening for a long time, at 3 a.m., like wide awake. And then my mind just started all these things. It was racing and racing and racing. So I was going back to some of my habits. I'm going to share some of those things with you guys here in a little bit, but of just um, brain dumping at night. It really has made such a huge difference. I'm taking some magnesium and uh, just a little bit of melatonin just to help me fall right fast asleep. And I'm noticing each day is getting so much better. I'm literally sleeping through that three o'clock hour, which has been great for me. Just remember friends, everyone's vision board is going to be different. It is your vision, right? So um, one thing I'm learning with Heather Baxter is, and if you guys actually go on Pinterest, you're gonna see it's the same thing. It's the life wheel and there's actually eight sections. So I broke my vision board into those, down into those eight sections. I've got way more to go. So this was just a start. I've got to do some more cutting out and um, I'm gonna print some pictures from, that I'm gonna make on Canva and stuff like that. So. Okay, so this is my vision board. These are the six, oh sorry, eight different parts of the life wheel. So relationships, personal growth, home, career, physical well-being, mental well-being, finances, and hobbies. So basically I just cut out some things here uh, to fill into each of those categories and I've got way more to go as you can see, but just to give you an idea how I am setting up my vision board this year. I'm also going to make a vision board on Canva so I can put it on like my laptop. So, and that's gonna be more um, of a dream board, I guess I could say. So things that, physical kind of things, um, more in a picture than just words. And you can do that on a vision board, and I'm gonna be doing some of that on this as well. But I want also, when I'm on my laptop, to be my screensaver, where I'm gonna see that all the time. So I'm gonna make it real pretty, pretty colors, and pink, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna have fun playing around with that today. And again, these were all suggestions from Heather. So um, I love her ideas, and I'm just implementing them into my um, own vision boards, because, wow, she has some great ideas, and it really just rang a bell with me, like, wow, I love this. This is something I want to do. So um, anyway, I'm finally getting a chance to share with you my five non-negotiables. And uh, so I hope you guys like these. And I really want to hear yours. If you don't, if you never actually written out your non-negotiables um, and you want to share them in the comment section, that would be great. Um, but these are mine. Just remember, you have to choose what your non-negotiables are. And that is even if you choose to. But these are things, you know, how we all make goals for the year. Um, this is what I've set for myself. So let me share with you, number one, my first non-negotiable is get up early. So I do have an app, and I thank you for Heather for sharing this, on my Apple Watch, it's called Pillow. And I have it set up to remind me like, okay, Karen, it's time to get ready for bed, which is the normal time I go anyway. And also, um, it, it, if I'm sleeping, it, it's an alarm that goes off on my Apple Watch and tells me what time to get up but also it tracks my sleep, which is really important because I was really lacking in sleep. So um, anyway, I love this app and and when that goes off at 6.45, I'm bang right out of bed because I hit the floor running, I am ready to go. Uh, so I get up, brush my teeth. So that's my number one first non-negotiable. Number two is, is me time. And I have to tell you friends that 
when I don't have enough me time, I'm truly out of balance. So for me, me time is hitting that reset button. So what I do is it's my devotions, I'll read my affirmations, a Bible verse of the day. I'm gonna share with you the planner that I'm using that I, oh my gosh, it's everything I wanted in one planner. I, I love this. I wanna thank my other friend, Heather, for sharing this with me. So the me time is number two. Um, like I said, working on my Bible study, affirmations, uh, verse of the day, just me time. It's, I put those beautiful channels on my YouTube, um, on my TV from YouTube with some soft music, have the fireplace on, have my cup of coffee. And it is just, wow, does it really set the tone for my day? Okay, so the number three is exercise. Now, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on myself like I did last year. You know, I wanted to exercise every day. It's some form of movement if it's taking a walk around the circle here where we live, if it's doing some yoga, some stretches, whatever I choose to do, some form of exercise. That's another non-negotiable, that's my number three. Number four is self-care. And that's where I, you know, obviously I'm showering, um, I'm putting on makeup, I don't even care if I'm not going anywhere. That's just who I am anyway. But feeling good about myself. It's, you know, maybe doing a facial or a hair mask or something like that. So that's number four. And then my fifth non-negotiable, obviously, is spending time on our two orchids channel and uh, social media and emails and things like that. So those are my five non-negotiables. And uh, again, I would love to hear if you want to share what yours are and we can all support each other because again, I really believe in lifting other women up and I'm here for you, I really am. And uh, so I wanna share with you this planner that is really awesome. And just a few more things, because I know you all like this kind of stuff, especially in the new year. And I've had, you know, have not had an opportunity to share these with you. So let me drop down the camera and share those with you. Okay, so again, these are notes, and I'm gonna try to figure out how I can put these in my description section for you all to download. Um, but so this is what I use when I have my notes for my Bible study. Um, so on my clipboard, which I shared with these earlier in the vlog, which I love, love, love these clipboards. Um, this is the planner. Oh my gosh, friends. This is everything that I possibly would want in a planner. Okay, it's called Humble Roots. It's a faith-based fitness planner. Um, so let me show you. I'm sorry if the ring light is, I have it on just so it's, because it's such a dark, dreary day today. Um, so this is the first page. Here you'll write your annual goals, personal work, business, nutrition, fitness. And over here is where you're, you will fill in the month. And why I like these type of planners is because for some reason you're you know on vacation or out and about and you have a specific month you're not using, you're not wasting your planner. Um, and then over here are some notes, and I'm gonna skip because I actually filled some of these pages in. But then um, these are all the pages. You have date, your today's will, a Bible verse, which I love writing every day, application, obviously, God is teaching me, and a prayer for the day. Over here is my things that I am grateful for, my brain dump. If you, guys, if you guys have watched our channel, you know how much I am such a believer in brain dumping. Now this section I fill out the night before just so it can help me have a better night's rest because I brain dumped everything I need to know for the next day. And then the next page is where I'm gonna write here. I write my workout, whatever that is, my personal development, today's schedule, and what I will do is I will fill this part out even the night before so I'm already ready to roll when I wake up. And then over here is my food log, which I am loving, and also my water. So I think this book is, again, it's everything I would ever want here in a planner. So I love this, love, love, love this. And again, this is the journal I'm doing with Heather, the new me in 2023. Um, you can order these on Amazon and I went to um, Office Max and they put a spiral for me, which I'm loving. And this is where I do like my Bible study, my dream, my visions and all that stuff. And so this is what I do during my me time. I really hope these ideas helped you. Let me know in the comment section, you know, what kind of ideas or what you're using. But you know, my biggest goal and a part of this channel you guys know is I love to be able to inspire and motivate and cheer you on and you guys do the same for me. So um, we're here for each other again. I really believe, as I said earlier, in lifting women up. And so here's to you, here's to a better you in 2023. 
I wanted to share, I stopped at our P.O. box this morning and inside was a package from one of our sweet subscribers, Kathy, with this beautiful heart bracelet and these earrings. Oh my gosh, they are just gorgeous. Kathy, thank you so much. I cannot wait to wear them. Maybe I'll actually wear them tonight. Mark and I are going to be going out to dinner with our friends tonight, so I thought I'd share with you uh, my outfit. This is one of our two orchids blouses. I've got these so, I love these cute faux leather pants. I'm going to be putting on this beautiful bracelet from Kathy tonight for dinner, and so I can't wait to get this on. So our friends should be here, sorry about the lighting, should be here any minute now. I'm looking forward to a fun night. We're going to the Lay Club. And it happens to be an Italian night, and they're really preparing some great Italian dishes. So I cannot wait. Uh, so I'm going to pour a glass of red wine and uh, wait for our friends to get here. I thought I would flip the camera around to show you my outfit. Um, these faux leather pants are so comfortable. I love them. I love them. Of course, my boots and our top. And anyway, so... So I'm excited to see our friends tonight and just enjoy uh, a really fun night out with friends. And I wanted to show you, I put my earrings on from Kathy too. So I've got my bracelet on with my other bracelet here and the earrings. So Kathy, thank you so much. I love them. While we are on organizing, I thought I would show you these. Um, so this here is my meal plan that I do for um, the week coming up. So um, so I have got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We normally go out to dinner with friends. And then Friday and Saturday. And of course, here's Sunday for Sunday Supper Club. And then my notes, what I like, it's all pretty. And so I have this all um, done up. And then I also have my grocery list here. And you guys, listen, I mean, you can obviously add whatever you want for your list. But I like to have my list. And what I'll do is throughout the week, I'll write some of the things that we do need. And then once I make my weekly meal plan, then I can also add, you know, the different uh, things that I need to pick up at the grocery store. And I shared this book, I think, during Vlogmas. And oh my gosh, I really, really like it. And I love the uh, meal prep ideas. Great, fantastic recipes. Another thing I love to follow, and I'll link her below, but is Half Baked Harvest. I think her foods are fantastic. Her delicious recipes too. So I thought I'd just give you guys a few suggestions if you're really trying to just get a, you know, a jump start for the new year here on um, eating healthy and some meal prep. And then just, you know, planning your week and a little pretty grocery list. Friends, I am going to call this a day in the life, quite a few days, and I hope you enjoyed my first day in the life video of 2023, and guess what? Next week, Lauren and I both are going to be doing another day in the life videos for all of you. I know how much you guys really enjoyed uh, seeing us during uh, the month of December, so we wanted to throw some more of these in uh, for you guys. And uh, I already have so many things I'm gonna share with you on my next video. And then uh, the week after that, we have some uh, fun stuff that Lauren and I will both be filming together. So, well, I really do hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, I hope that I was able to inspire you to give you some ideas on how you two can just reset, let's refocus. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna, be sharing more of some of the things I'm doing and how I'm learning and growing throughout uh, the new year. So I hope that you all stay safe, stay healthy, and I can't wait to see you next week. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.